is speaking for me. Uh, you know, with all the things that's going on around here in the country and also in Joliet, we have youth, young people, young adults that are raising questions and concerns. And I happen to have with me today an up-and-coming young activist, and her name is Tierra Weekly. And we're going to talk with Tierra and find out what brought her to this point, what made her. I know that she cares about her community mm -hmm. and she cares about the city that she lives in. And she has a voice and she wants to speak out to you on today. Hi, Tierra. How are Hi, you? Hi, how are you? I'm good and you? Okay, good. Thank you so much for doing the interview with Thank me. Thank you so today. much for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's find out a little bit about you. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me, what made you decide to want to become an activist? What made me want to become an activist is just seeing the tragic and unfortunate events that my people went through and just me, just me, I feel like me crying about it and me also, be, I'm not wrong for crying about it and me for speaking about it with people. I just, one day I just, I really, I prayed to God and I said, God, can you please do something about this? Can you please do something about this? Next day it turned out that I was going to go into a protest and that really just, Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so, listen, we do understand the young lady um, that was in the newspaper that had got jumped on by the owner of a bar. Yes. She, yes. What's her name again? Miss Jasper Evans. Jasper Evans. Yeah. So, when you, uh, when I spoke with you, that really kind of touched you. So, tell me about that and how do you feel about that? If you don't know, probably do if you don't. Jasper Evans is a young female freshman um, college student. She she went to a bar one night with her like female friend. She went to make a song request to a DJ. Has you know has fun. You wanna have, she wants to have fun. And yeah. so, as she should, she was on a full ride scholarship from yeah. Jolly and West. Um, that she got from Jolly and West. Um, so she went to go make a song request with her life friend. She wants to do the same thing. And I guess the bar owner saw that, and I don't, I, I feel that, I don't know if he was angry. Of course he was angry, and he immediately just brutally attacked her, choked her out, and left her unconscious. Okay, okay, and so how does that make you feel? What do you, what's your thought behind that? Um, for one, it makes me angry, but for two, it makes me too want to get justice for her because it could have been me. Yeah. It could have been my little cousin. It could have been a friend of mine. It could have been a random person on the street, a mm -hmm. color. And it's just, it's just happening to so much more people to the point where it's like, I'm fed up. Yeah. And I know others is fed up. It's just, it, it really, it broke my heart that to hear her speak about the situation, to even see the pictures of her. And it's like, we all see racism and the um, people get pro police brutality, but to know that it's just, it, it's like a wake up call that it happened right next to you. Cause you can see it everywhere and you, you yeah. pray, you pray it don't, yeah. you pray it don't happen to you or yeah. in your community, mm -hmm. but it happened right in our community. Mm -hmm. And just the thing, just the fact that no one helped her in that situation and how down she felt. Mm -hmm. And even as a black woman, things that we go through, and black people in general, what we go through, we deserve respect. We deserve to be treated as human beings. Mm -hmm and to be put in that situation to where you feel less than, like you're less important and to even not even be treated as a human being. Yeah. And to go through that and it just really hurt me, but it really motivated me to yeah. help her and speak more, bring more light to the situation right. because as of now, the bar owner, he didn't get questioned or he didn't even go to jail because the police thought that it wasn't enough information on it. But if her white friend went to go do the same thing that she did and a white friend didn't get brutally attacked, it's yeah. plain and simple. That that was a hate crime and yeah. the police had the veil lifted, but I want to speak more but it's going to be shining light on that because what happened there, it just needs to not go unseen. Like it doesn't need to die, on, die down because that needs to be shown, that needs to be seen because people need to know that that's not right and he needs to know that's not right. right. And I uh, said a little bit, they, after pressure from 
the community and from her family and from it being on the news and everything, they finally gave him um, a sentence. They, they sentenced him for, not sentenced yet because he's in trial, but they they gave him a soul battery. Okay. But I felt like that was just a little slap in the face because you only did that because of public outrage. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Unfortunately, what happened with George Floyd, they just they didn't want it to happen. Yeah. So it's like, you're not doing it for us, mm -hmm. you're doing it for you, mm -hmm. so you don't seem bad. Yeah. But people need to take accountability, and he needs to take accountability. He needs a higher charge. He needs to be, obviously be arrested for hate crime. Mm -hmm. And I just really just hope me speaking more about it, and me and you and her family and everyone else speaking about it can show them that we are stronger than right. this. This is this won't break us down. It's just will motivate us to get justice for her, and just how we want justice for every other African American that's been in tragic events, whether for, during in police or out on the street, or from people who just like how we spoke about earlier. People just want control. Mm -hmm. The people mm -hmm. who need to understand that God is in control. Yes, yes, He is. <laughs> yes, He is. Was well, a young activist and uh, reaching out. Um, but what would you say to your peers? Uh, what are you saying to them? What I'm saying to my peers is, no one to have courage. Cause it's a scary thing. It's a, it's a, and I understand why people would be scared to speak on issues like this because yes. of what we see our people go through when right. they go through this. And then what do we see? What we see of our people who are activists who speak on this. So right. it's like, but I also tell them. Hey, I'd rather you or she would should rather fight for it because we are already targeted yeah. just for our skin. Yeah. So don't give them the satisfaction to make you feel down about who you are, mm -hmm. who you came from, mm -hmm. your color. So just be proud of who you are. Yeah. And I know that this everything that's been going on and it's just traumatizing. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to know that we are stronger than this. Like we can turn a negative into a positive. Yeah. And so where do you where do you plan to go? Where do you see yourself in maybe in the next, what, five years? In the next five years, yeah. I would see myself I honestly doing more of activist okay. work because no matter what I do, because I also have a black business, no okay. matter what I do there, act, being an activist comes first before okay. everything. And just I love to help people. So that's your passion right yes. now. That's your, okay, all right. Yeah, I, it's just, it's just honestly like this was a road down what I'm saying. Yeah. Just, comes out of my head Absolutely. and it's just I can just do more and just help more people that's the goal is to help more help more of my people mm -hmm. uplift more of my people mm -hmm. just uplift us mentally spiritually physically financially yeah. Yeah, absolutely well we were um, speaking a little earlier and you are 18 years old yes, that's not am. correct <laughs> and so that means uh, um, we're finished or almost finished with high school and yes. you did speak on um, or uh, furthering your education with psychology. Yes. Perfect field to go into. Yes. Perfect field. So how do you think that that will help you? Oh, it will it will help me because it will give, if I'm, number one, it will show that it's a safe space for my people to speak yes. on our issues because yes. I'm not saying that like therapists are not important, but you know, as a as an African American, you want to be able to people to relate to you. Yeah. It's like and me as an African American, I feel like they can relate to me more and being yeah. a therapist and me just hearing them right. because people only gotta understand that listening yeah. helps. Listening yeah. is a big thing, Absolutely. and just for somebody to know that you're listening and you're actually listening and you want to help them solve this what you're yeah. solving going on in their life. It can really just lift them up. Yeah. Spiritually, absolutely. mentally, financially, emotionally. Yeah. Every this everything. Absolutely. And so what about the uh, I, I spoke about your peers, but what about the younger children, the the, the five, uh, five to I would say I just, ten, eleven? I'm really protective. So yeah. I really just want to protect them. <laughs> That's what I want to do. And I know I know I can't protect everyone, but I yeah. want to do what I can do to protect more people mm -hmm. than I can. Mm -hmm. Because I have a five, I have a two-year-old, no, I have an eight-year-old niece and a one-year-old nephew, mm -hmm. and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. So Absolutely. I want to do everything in my power to protect them. But I, mm -hmm. that's why I always have that. Balance. So what do you teach them? You know, what do you teach them? What do you tell them? What I would teach them, what I would tell them is to. Honestly, number one, 
don't be don't be scared to be black. Yeah. Don't be yeah. scared to be black. Be proud of yourself. Be yeah. proud of your skin color. Because I know when you're younger and you know people can get teased and get yeah. bullied because I yeah. was I was a victim of that because yeah. I had dark skin or yeah. I have dark lips. Yeah. It made me feel insecure yeah. about who I am mm -hmm. and my skin tone. Yeah. I'm I'm not that way now. But yeah. I, that's the goal sometimes. Well, you found out black was beautiful. Yeah, no, black is beautiful. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So I just teach them more to just love yourself mm -hmm. because when you love yourself more, you just won't stand for mm -hmm. certain stuff. And I'll go through some get after because I love my people. So much. Oh, that okay. I won't stand for that mm -hmm. to happen to my people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me what's your take on on uh, and I understand what you're saying. You know, you wanna you want to teach your people. Uh, basically to love themselves and, and who we are mm -hmm. and 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 how rich our heritage yeah, really culture. is <laughs> and the culture okay what would you tell them about racism itself I would say I would tell them about racism is that the one is a bad thing mm -hmm. never judge anyone on their skin color because mm -hmm. you never know no one you never know what that person is going through right and you never should feel superior to someone just yeah. because of their Skin color, but yeah. feel superior as a whole because yeah. black, because black yeah. is beautiful, like yeah. you said. Yeah. And I want to teach them if they ever going through that situation, I want to pray. And it's kind of hard to be going through that situation because you don't know what's you don't know what to be, what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, because of what's been going on and mm -hmm. the thing. So I want to tell them about number number two is be aware of your surroundings because yeah. you always have to be aware of your surroundings because. If you're aware of your surroundings, you can stop. I would say it's a higher chance of you stop stopping being in that position of Absolutely. being racial. Um, seeing what you have seen in maybe the last year, mm -hmm. if not the last four years, uh, where do you see our country going if we continue this quote unquote racist battle? Where do you see us going? A war. Okay. I feel like that's the World War Three. Okay. It's a war against our people. Yeah. And it's just people are not standing for it. It's just attack, 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 attack. Yeah. It's a war for peace. Okay. And war control. For peace. And so, what part would you play in it to to not let that happen? You have to play a part in it. No. You don't want that to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, what part would you play in it to try to make sure that that doesn't happen? Number one, bring peace into the situation and bring peace. But I know sometimes there cannot be peace because if there was peace, if all activists were peaceful, yeah. a lot of stuff wouldn't get done. Yeah. So I would just tell people to be smart. Okay. Be smart, but also be fearless and have the courage and just keep doing, it. keep going. Doing. Okay. And what I learned is to just go with the flow. Mm -hmm and just always keep God on your side because yeah. it is a scary thing but it's also a blessing because you're helping your people you yeah. get something like you bigger than mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. so I just think more about the positive side of who I'm doing it for and why I'm doing it mm -hmm. when the fear comes in because yeah. fear don't come in but I don't let fear take control of absolutely me. absolutely absolutely I think you are a, a brave young lady thank you my hat goes off to you for what so you're what, what you're trying to step out and do and that's um uh it, you're trying to teach us how to love us love us up. and 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 how to move forward mm -hmm. you know in in a world that you know that kind of stifles you you have to keep pushing and keep pressing because you know you can get stuck in your thoughts so yes you and press and try to move yes you can want to move forward but it's like when you take that yeah. And step forward yeah. to move forward yeah. and actually make progress. And yeah. Just at least try. Yeah. Because it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. So at least yeah. you're trying to be a better person. Yeah. Trying to love yourself. I'll have to love you for that. Okay. So what is what what does your heart feel for the young lady? Yeah. I'm sad for her. Yeah. I have more. It's more than sympathy. Yeah. But I would say it's it's more than sympathy. I just honestly like. It's kind of crazy. I kind of like feel what she feels, mm -hmm. like uh, the anger, the mm -hmm. sadness, the mm -hmm. confusion, mm -hmm. the remorse, mm -hmm. just 
I, I feel like I feel every emotion she feels yeah. right now. You felt like that was you on yeah. that floor. Yeah. And it felt, I felt like it, it could be me. Yeah. And I, and I don't want it to be me. Yeah. And I, I don't want it to be her. And yeah. It's unfortunate that it happened to her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And so what would you say to her family on today? Look into the camera and talk to her family. Miss Evans, your family, Miss Evans' family. Um, I just want to tell you guys that you are stronger than this. I'm pretty sure you know. And I want to tell her, don't let this beat you, beat you up for the rest of your life because I know that's a traumatic situation that happened to you. And sometimes we can repress it. And we can say that, oh, it's okay. I'm going to be better for you. Never know like, what's going to happen in two years, five years, and how that can really affect you. So I want to tell her you're strong, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're a queen. Yeah. You are a queen for yeah. anything. And I know your family feels that way. And my condolences to her family for even having to see their baby go through that. Yeah. And I, 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 look, I really, I believe from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry. And I just want to tell you, I just want to do everything I can to help you with that your situation, unfortunate situation. I really want justice prevail for you. Absolutely, absolutely. And once again, you are a wonderful, wonderful person. Thank you so much. And God bless you for sharing um, your words, your thought, your heart, your passion uh, with us here on uh, Be Informed today. Thank you and so much for having me. Absolutely, and you keep doing what you're doing because we need you. I promise. We I need promise you. to get us to do this well. And we will. We absolutely, will. absolutely. And uh, do it from the heart. Oh. As long as it's from the heart and you keep your your purpose for it straight, mm -hmm. then you'll always, the God will always send you through. Well, you're going to be okay. Thank All you right, so much. So once again, thank you so much yeah. for the interview. Thank you for having God me. God bless you. Yes, God bless you as well. Thank you for this opportunity. You're welcome. You're welcome. So before we go, is there anything you'd like to listen to your audience to know before we um, go? I would say to follow me more on my social media. Um, my Facebook is TR Weekly. Um, I have a black business, Lashes by T. Marie. I sell lashes, um, 25 millimeters, 28 millimeters, and natural lashes and I also do something more with my business. I do something different. Um I'm very into astrology so when every purchase wow. every purchase I give you information and facts on your on your zodiac sign plus I give you an uplifting spiritual message because not only with me I want to also enhance your beauty but also I want you to learn something from it and I want you to learn something spiritually from it and you can take something as a whole from it. Absolutely, you heard her. Thank you. <laughs> Check her out on her Facebook page. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, Hi, you can find me on Facebook, Tierra Wheatley, T I A R A, Wheat as in Gray, L E Y. Um, I have a black business, Lashes by T Marie. Each lash is $10 each. Um, I sell 25 millimeters, 28 millimeters, and natural mink lashes. With each purchase, you get to learn information and facts on your zodiac sign, plus an uplifting spiritual message just for you. Um, you can also find me on YouTube to subscribe to my channel at Tierra Marie. And my official lash page on Instagram is Lashes by T Marie. Thank you for tuning in. Until then, stay prayed up.